you think that beat setting's dead, then it is dead. What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video is, is beat selling dead? The reason for this video is I read a lot of comments and posts on YouTube videos and beat maker meme pages and all sorts. And when the topic comes up of is beat selling dead? I see a lot of producers saying that it is, that it's oversaturated and there's no point in trying to sell beats. YouTube's dead. No one's making money off it, which is a lie because I, there's people out there who's doing this for a living and they get so passionate about it when they're, when they're talking about it. You can, you can just tell by the way that they're wording things in their comments. For me, it just makes me feel, I kind of feel sorry for them because their way of thinking is so off, it's off key. If you think selling beats is dead, then you're right. Because whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. I'm not gonna try and change your mind. I'm not gonna try and convince you because obviously that's your mindset and that's where you're that's where you're at at the moment. That's your perception on things. So what I'm trying to say is, if you think that beat selling is dead, then it is dead. And if you think beat selling isn't dead, then it isn't dead. It's all about your mindset. It's all about your perception and how you see things. I'm the type of person that will see the glass half full. Some people like to see it half empty. This might look like just an ordinary glass of water, but in fact, it is something much more symbolic. The way in which you view this glass might reveal how you view your own situation in life. And I feel like the people that believe that beat selling is dead are those who feel that like the glass is half empty. Optimistic, pessimistic, whatever you want to call it. The thing is, like I've always been a positive person, but I'm coming from a mentality of lack, which is something I've had to flip and switch up completely. And that's, that's something that's worked for me, or is working for me, and I've been working on for over a period of time. I, I believe that you can change the way that you are. Some people just are so negative, and that's just how they are <laughs> no I, I hate that some people are just negative and they don't want to change and they're just setting their ways and beliefs but i feel like you can change that like i was saying earlier i'm coming from a mentality of lack poverty so you can have that type of mindset and you can just dwell in it and just go through life always thinking the worst is going to happen or you can change it you can get to a point where you think nah this ain't right i want to change i want to change my mindset because nothing's happening in the way that you've been doing things for so long so you might as well switch it up and that's what i've done so i don't i don't know if you've seen i posted a video before about your mindset and how to level up if you haven't check the video here so yeah with having that mindset i would kind of wanted to keep hold of everything i could get some money in you don't want to spend it because you, you don't know where the, the rest of your money's coming in and it's like a whole way of thinking which has a knock-on effect for everything else so if you're trying to sell beats you, you need to get out of that mindset that's why i kind of feel sorry for the people that believe that selling beats is dead because it's not dead there's people out there making good money there's people out there doing this for a living all right they might be doing other things offering other services within their business their music business selling beats and stuff it all it all adds up just switching up your mindset i switched my mindset from that negative way of thinking and uh it's definitely helped like i've noticed a spike in beat sales i think it's got a lot to do with the type of beats that i'm making i've gone drifted onto the uk style afro drill type uh, melodic type of beats which seem to be working when i first started I, I made no sales so if i had that same way of thinking i wouldn't be i wouldn't be sat here now talking to you about how to sell beats or how to market yourself as a beat maker and i probably would have that same belief as the others who believe that you can't make no money of selling beats i get that it's oversaturated i get that everyone wants to make beats if you think about it like who wouldn't want to make beats and get paid like that it's absolutely amazing so yes it's going to be oversaturated but at the same time this, all that means is you've got to create your lane create in your lane and just keep going don't worry at all about what anyone's doing just keep doing your thing and switch that mindset because yes it is oversaturated and the barrier to entry is low that doesn't matter if you think about all the chicken shops like that guy like chicken southern fried chicken chicken kfc all of that moolies dixies it's cash they had that mindset oh kfc's killing it they've got all the market then these other chicken shops wouldn't exist that's just a, it's a defeatist mindset and i feel like people some people who are it's like misery likes company so when they're spitting it's oversaturated you can't make no money through selling beats youtube's dead i think it's a case of they want you to believe that so you don't go and fulfill your dreams you just gotta have that belief in yourself that you can make this work if you're trying to sell beats for a living then go and do that you can do that i believe that you can I believe that I can. Yeah, so you just gotta keep going. Keep that belief and don't worry about what others are saying. Don't worry about the opinions. Don't worry about the opinions. Just keep going and keep doing your thing. No, beat selling's not dead at all. Don't believe everything that you read. So yeah, that was just a quick video explaining why I think beat selling's not dead. If you think it's dead, then that's up to you. I'm not gonna try and convince you. Drop a comment below if you think beat selling's dead or it's not dead. I'd like to hear what you think. Do you think beat selling's dead or it's very much alive? Make sure you hit me up on Instagram. I'm always dropping little tips and tricks in my stories 
if you want to ask me any questions on insta feel free to hit me up if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time peace